Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go out to thrift stores or I go out to estate sales and I go to sometimes to garage sales and I go to Craigslist and I try to find things that either make me happy or tell me a story, or in this case, that just kind of make me laugh. <laughs> and then I bring them back here and I try to tell, I try to find out as much as I can about them just so I can tell you guys about them. So here's what I got for you today. Okay, I know it looks like a baguette, but it's not actually a baguette because have you ever seen a baguette that's this rigid? <laughs> so today, what we have instead of small joyful things, we have sharp joyful things. <laughs> this is a bread knife. <laughs> it's a bread knife in the shape of a loaf of bread. <laughs> I, I, I swear, I saw this actually in the wood section. I ended up going like, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. It, I got it in a thrift store. I think I paid $4 for it. And I thought, what in the hell is that? It is a piece of wood shaped like a baguette. And then I saw the line. I thought, no way, is that a knife? And I ended up opening it and going like, oh my God, it's a knife. Please check me out. <laughs> so the cool thing about this... <laughs> Like, seriously, <laughs> it's a carved wooden, it's a carved wooden baguette with a bread knife. It's a novelty bread. Okay. I just, I can't, can you see why I saw this in a thrift store and thought, oh my God, I have to have that. That's just wild. <laughs> anyway, the back of it, if you read it, says, La baguette et la chalotte. And it's even got its original Made in France sticker. <laughs> Um, my French, I have to say, is a little bit rusty. Um, I, I, I know little bits here, and I know, you know, I can, I can understand bits and pieces. I think that means the baguette and the knife, <laughs> which, okay, I mean, accurate, yes. And on the inside, if I just put that down, and the blade itself, cuisine inox France. No idea whether or not it's stainless steel or anything like that. I suspect it probably is. It's in much too nice a condition for it not to be. <laughs> that or, you know, it's been looked after quite a bit. Bonus. Hey, there's my phone case. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm just gonna I'll put that in right, for a second. Okay, so all right, let's measure it up. It is quite long. It is 18 inches long. And just quickly, eh, two inches across, maybe. Oop. Okay, so so what is this? This is a novelty bread knife. It's, you know, somebody with a sense of humor decided, you know what would be funny? And they decided to make this. I have, by the way, no idea why only that much is the actual blade. Like, you think they could have made it longer than that, but maybe that would be kind of a bit, a bit too close to, you know, actual sword territory. It's like they decided that it had to be the length of an actual baguette. <laughs> but obviously the blade itself is only a standard size. <laughs> anyway, so so who are, who's Cousin? Who the hell, who are these, these guys who made this thing? <laughs> First of all, this is basically what you find out. If you go looking for information on Cousin Inox France, this is the kind of stuff that you get. Basically, what their deal was is that they made novelty knives. There's a lot, the baguette one is the one that comes up quite a lot. There's also one here shaped like a, like a bone. <laughs> they, they, they basically made, made this kind of, this, you know, French made novelty stuff. <laughs> this is another one of these companies that unfortunately there's not a whole lot of information about. And come on eBay. Every time I tap on the link here that goes to eBay, it automatically opens the app. It's annoying. Anyway, so here's what I actually managed to find out about this company. Um, they may have been operating in France kind of before this, but at least the stuff that got to North America, we have one record for an import company that was registered in 1993. 
So it's a fairly good guess that this particular one may be vintage, but it's not going to be like from back in the 70s or 80s. It's going to be more recent than that. It's going to be like in the last 30 years. This, oh, the, another thing that I found out is that it's very frequently, you can get, you get these two. This is actually originally in a set of two at the very least. The one that seems to show up most often is the bigger one, which is this one. But there's also, you can see here, it's a little bit, there's another, basically a smaller version as well, which is probably, you know, your smaller roll, you know, one for like bagels and stuff. So if we take a look at some information here, someone actually here has the original box for at least one of these. I think this is, must be the smaller one. And it gives a little bit of information about like what exactly this is and what it is here is certificate of origin it says this product is made of hand finished wood and is a poello original creation and a registered design it has been carefully made in our workshops in santa julia and royan drome france so there you go very useful information for us that basically tells us exactly where it was made and well like we know that like someone actually did go to the trouble of making this by hand and it's done it's been done with care and attention even though it's, <laughs> it's still, it's a bread for cutting bread. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Okay, so, so what am I going to do with this? Um, I am probably going to put this up on eBay. Um, thinking about this as well, like if you actually take a look at like the, the, the listings of these, they show up quite often, they actually sell quite often as well. People just seem to really like it for because i mean it's so silly you know of course you want to whip this thing out when you want to cut your bread it's it's funny and it's nice and it's cool so i have seen these listed for up to 150 dollars and i think those people are probably out of their mind um i think that the actual selling price for this is probably going to be closer to maybe 30 or 40 dollars canadian um i think people just don't do enough research or whatever when they are trying to price this stuff up so let's say that's probably what i'm going to do with it i think it's funny but I don't think I would use it personally because I don't actually eat a whole lot of bread. And I have a fairly good bread knife already that is far more practical and I can stick into my utensil box thing. So anyway. <laughs> I keep telling myself, it's a bread that cuts bread. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is my small, joyful, funny thing for today. <laughs> I hope you guys, I hope you guys like it as well. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.